You know, some stuff happened in Africa. It's hard to explain. For you to explain, you gotta be there. You gotta be there and you gotta see. DJ Banga was raised in Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of Congo, where his father held a government job. But when a new regime took over power, it hunted down everyone who worked for the previous leaders. I've been in a situation and I see the stuff myself. Nobody told me myself. I see the people die, the people. It's just hard to explain because it's bringing me some stuff. I try to forget. Escalating unrest in the country endangered the survival of the Benga family when DJ's father was in prison. Although he was ultimately unable to save himself, he did manage to negotiate on behalf of his sons, who were also thrown in jail, facing execution. The way I get out is they have to pay for. They have to pay for. They have to sneak me behind, like me and my brother. They have because they keep my dad. You know, they keep him, they say, you gotta say everything you know, and you gotta give back everything you talk. He's like, I'll give it to you guys if you leave my kids, you know, leave. And uh, that's why, and I'm behind the pay money, everything. So we just survive day by day. Binga fled the country on a plane headed for Belgium, where he received asylum. While living in a refugee center, he was discovered by a National Hoops legend who helped him learn the game but more importantly, provided DJ with an escape from his past. That's kind of reason he was pushing me when I was in Belgium, keeping practice with this guy so I can forget everything happened to me. And uh, I was walking with him like crazy, just go hard every day, like four or five hours. And I don't know, most I spend the time with him, more I fall in love to the, to the game. After playing a few years in the Belgian League, DJ's improbable journey landed him in the NBA. And while he's proud to be on a championship contender, any basketball success Bingham might have is easy for him to put in perspective. I see all kind of stuff totally different. I see stuff different. I know I appreciate everything. So Congo, it just make me strong. Make me strong, no matter what kind of situation can happen in my life. I know one thing, I always remember where I come from, and that's what is going to make me better to know where I'm going. Well, you know, that was a story, uh, uh, Simone, that was part of a nationally televised game of the Lakers, and, and we've run it here on NBA TV before, but it's just, it's a, an unbelievable story, and you see in his eyes when he talks about, you know, and I, I'm not talking about something I've read in books, I'm talking about things I actually don't want to remember because I've witnessed all this stuff. No question about that, and uh, actually I remember one of the deepest and mm -hmm. most meaningful conversations I had in an NBA locker room was with DJ, mm -hmm. uh, his rookie year in Dallas, and we were actually talking about this, and he wasn't speaking uh, good English, we were talking in French, and, he and the thing that I will never forget forget that he told me that, you know what, I'm not ready to talk about my father. I don't think, I don't know when I'm going to be ready to talk mm -hmm. about my father. My teammate asked me what happened in Congo, but I mm -hmm. still can, can get myself to talk about it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, get, I, I'm, I'm, I like the fact that now he's, open up, he's, op he's opening up because mm -hmm. certainly the healing is, is uh, beginning for him. But DJ is a fantastic person. He's a, certainly right. a very athletic player who mm -hmm. can be useful in, uh, uh, for the Lakers for the first few minutes, uh, especially mm -hmm. defensively. I just really like him as a person, and all the teammates really love him. He's, he's just a fun guy to be around, a great guy, always, always smiling. And what does he have to bring uh, along with his, the baggage that he has? Just unbelievable. Indeed, you're right. And again, he uh, second team this season, starts this season off with Golden State and you know possibility of a, a championship ring. And as he said, his perspective on everything is completely different from most, most anybody. No question about that. When you live through things like that, what he said, I've seen stuff that nobody has to tell me. What, what, he, what, what does he mean? living or dying because I saw people dying on the street right. and it's just an unbelievable, unbelievable story. Well, we get it back to the basketball aspect of the story and the man